Welcome to Creativity and Problem Resolving. Today, we will present the Audi A8 First Level 3 Self Driving Car. With the launch of its 2019 A8 in Barcelona on July 11th, Audi is marketing itself as the first company to sell a Level 3 self driving car. The technology isn't legal yet in many markets, but Audi says the new A8 will have the hardware and firmware it needs to rest control of the car from the driver on a semi-permanent basis. At the touch of an Audi AI button, the A8 will give audible and visual signals that it's in piloted driving mode. The car will be able to accelerate, steer, and brake on its own, without requiring the driver to take back control on regular brief intervals, a situation that describes Level 2, seen today on the Tesla Model S and Mercedes E-Class and a few other cars. Here's how the A8 moves the self-driving car needle to Level 3 semi-autonomy. Electrified steering and suspension. The A8 has electric power steering that can be controlled by the car's computing brain. In the new A8, it also interfaces with an active suspension that's not a requirement for self-driving cars, but networks with a complex interface to make semi-autonomous driving smoother and safer. A host of cameras, sensors, and scanners. Audi essentially builds a sensory system for the A8 that lets it see and decide how to react to obstacles. At the front, an infrared camera handles nighttime driving, while a monocular camera at the top of the windshield delivers an overall image of the road ahead. Four 360-degree cameras mount on the front, rear, and under the city view mirrors. Their data compiles into a surround view image of the car and its environment. The A8 also has ultrasonic and radar sensors at its perimeter that contribute data used to describe images. A long-range radar sits on the front of the car, while four mid-range radar sensors emit signals and gather information at the corners. An array of 12 ultrasonic sensors mounted around the car's perimeter handle close-range information. Redundancy The information from all those data capturing devices gets blended together, and examined for accuracy. Then it's shared with a cloud-based learning field, combined with data from other cars, then re-consumed by the A8 as it drives itself. The system relies on the redundancy of all the information it gathers, so it can pilot the car when one stream or more of data is missing. The redundancy isn't based on strict formulas. If extreme wet and cold creates a thick layer of ice in front of the car's laser scanner, it may not have enough information to proceed. If fog impedes camera-based information but the road surface is good, the car may be able to soldier on. The appropriate road situation. Audi says this first iteration of Level 3 driving is very much based around commuting tasks, reined in by geofencing to situations where it's appropriate and safe. When the system is engaged, the car determines whether it's in an area where it can drive under 37 mph, on a multi-lane road divided by a physical barrier. If it doesn't see those situations, it will not engage. If it's already engaged, it will revert control to the driver. Audi says its biggest hurdles are in detecting cross-traffic, pedestrians, and bicycles and these initial limits dramatically reduce those circumstances. The presence of a driver. Level 3 driving in the Audi A8 requires a driver, not just a passenger chilling in the back seat. A camera checks to make sure the driver hasn't fallen asleep. If they do, the system warns the driver. If they haven't woken up, the car brings itself to a stop. There is a use case when no driver is needed. The A8 will offer a parking and garage system independent of the piloted driving setup. The parking assistant will allow the car to negotiate its way into spaces and garages even without a driver present. The process is governed by a smartphone app, but it can also be initiated by the driver inside the car. Thank you for your watch. If you like this video please subscribe us and enjoy.